Hello everyone, welcome to Just K, where we talk about everything that is health, mind, body, and soul. Today I have with me my beautiful daughter, Celeste, aka Celestial 12G. And you can find her on Instagram, Twitter, and here on YouTube. And we're talking about spiritual health. In the last videos, we've talked about honoring our ancestors through all types of means. And we talked about the stories of creation as a means to understand why we honor our ancestors. What do you think about that so far? Like, let's talk about that. Because you were raised with me, and I have a very Aquarian view today on spirituality. So how's that been for you growing up? Um. Well, I feel like your Aquarian view on spirituality allowed me to find spirituality for myself. You didn't really force it on me. You just presented, you presented it, uh, Christianity, mm -hmm. Southern Baptist mm -hmm. to be more mm -hmm. specific. Mm -hmm. And you presented it, um, went to church a few times. It wasn't my thing. <laughs> you didn't push it. Um, and then I kind of came into that spirituality on my own. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you allowed me to be free in my expression and my discovery on my spiritual journey. Okay. So as you said, Christian, Southern Baptist, because that's the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, it's there was a huge difference in me, in my Christianity, than there is today. And because I was raised Christian, and I therefore presented that to you, I wanna know, is there a difference from when we were practicing Christianity to how we practice today? And I'll tell you why I asked. In my last video, I was talking about how the stories of creation versus the Greek mythology versus the ancient Egyptian stories of creation versus the Bible all have discusses the same story, just different cultures, different names, different mm -hmm. backdrops. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just curious as to how, um, I know how it affected me, I wanna know how that affected you. Fine. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have any complaints. Uh, I feel like we went on our spiritual journeys together, in a sense. I mean, even though you allowed me to be free, like I was still, under your influence mm -hmm. and so I was gonna be Christian no matter what I feel like like that's just that's just our vibe but that's but, something I find concerning mm. for other people out there mm. I think I've noticed in the younger generation a lot of people are uh, we'll say woke mm -hmm. or waking up mm -hmm. and they are in households where that has not occurred yet, mm -hmm. right? Because it's that very freedom of expression that opened the door for me to listen and learn from you guys, mm -hmm. which gave me that, helped me get to where I am now. And so that's a concern when you say, you follow Christianity just because that's what I did. And I know that in my household, it, was no, it wasn't a choice. Yeah. And so the concern is, <clears throat> that we are stifling people from being spiritually healthy. And you know I feel that spiritual health is, is one of the most integral part of physical body health. I agree, but I also think whether you were Christian or you practiced Hinduism or you practiced mm -hmm. Muslim, like it, it didn't really matter mm -hmm. because that was just the household I grew up in and right. that was just the influence. So, I mean, it was Christianity, mm -hmm. and so that's what it was. But at the same time, your views on Christianity were still different from my views. Right. I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of disagreements. I had a lot of concerns. I had a lot of, like, we definitely had our back and forth mm -hmm. on, like, faith and just, like, because mm -hmm. I'm very, I'm a science based individual yes. and so I always had to basically separate the two mm -hmm. and it was just so we all we had our even though it was the same it was different 
And I think even with uh, what we're doing now with African spirituality and getting back to trying to find our roots and just coming back to our culture mm -hmm. and rediscovering that. You have your views mm -hmm. and then I have my views. We don't disagree, definitely, not as much mm -hmm. as we did with the Christianity thing. And that's, I feel like Christianity was so, there's so many rules. And there's so many, like, you can do this, you can't do that. If you do this, you go to hell. If you, you're gonna go to hell anyway, because blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it was just like, it was a lot. And so then, with this, it feels more like freeing in that, we're kind of like deciding, deciding what we, right. we're like picking and choosing. And it's more like a spirituality based to, rather than a strict religion. Right. And I like that. Right. I like to look at it as, cause you know, I don't, I'm not downing Christianity. No, um, absolutely not. I find my feelings with Christianity tend to be more on an emotional basis and what it has done emotionally than anything else. My biggest conundrum when I talk about Christianity is the thought of being offered salvation. Where does that salvation come from? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. People say that we are, we're all made up of, we come from the stars. Mm -hmm. What is a star? We're gonna talk about that in my next video. Okay. 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 Um, and so, if we've got these energy, if we're made up of these energies that interconnect at certain times and do certain things, right? Mm -hmm. Where does the salvation come from other than yourself? And that was the thing that brought me home to being more conscious of being spiritual in the way my ancestors were. Because you know that Christianity wasn't a word. When you, see, when you hear, when you see ancient African religion, it, it wasn't, that's not how they viewed it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that was my biggest conundrum and I'll continue to study and research Christianity and and the reason I choose Christianity I should say is it was one of the main ones that was really strict that is really strict with a promise of salvation but especially Southern Baptist right right but the history is the thing that bothers me the most yeah the knowledge that that was forced upon our culture to yeah. to keep us tame and, and, and under control bothers me a lot. Yeah. That <laughs> being said, I do believe that there are a lot of churches in this country that practice Christianity that honestly do a lot of good things for their parishioners and give a lot of help. And so there's a conundrum. <laughs> but I also think it's, um, there's a lot of good takeaways you can take mm -hmm. from Christianity and a lot of good lessons and a lot of good moral story type things um, but it's always it's like it's the person teaching it right and it's not always their good intentions behind mm -hmm. like it's it's up for interpretation a lot of things in the Bible are up for interpretation mm -hmm. and depending on how someone interprets it and then spreading that to like a massive group of people, it can be kind of, yes. it can uh, it can be a lot. I was just talking on the phone to this nice older lady today and she said something that my initial was like, oh no. She said with all the things going on in this world that young people are starting to finally look and pay attention to the Bible. Would you agree, disagree? I feel like, how many times have I heard that mm -hmm. in my life? I feel like we're, we've been in a constant state of revelations mm -hmm. or something. Like, people keep bringing that up. And, I mean, okay, mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't read the Bible. And I never have. Even as a Christian, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. It just, I don't know. It just, I could not read it like I can't read it it's hard <laughs> so let me ask you this because you've watched my videos mm -hmm. with the understanding that I've given you about the stories are really speaking of the energies that played a part in creation mm -hmm. and the energies that play a part in our world today mm 
Mm -hmm. Does that change the way you would view the stories in the Bible? No. Okay. And why or why not? I always looked at the Bible as like, what's that story? Aesop fables mm -hmm. type of thing right. where it's just like a story and there's like a moral of the story mm -hmm. or like a, a message. So you've always seen it that way instead uh, yeah. of literal. Yeah, I've never seen it mm -hmm. as a literal, like he was in a whale's mouth and then <laughs> right. he came out right. and then it was, it was fine. Or like, I never took it literal. I mean, if those things happen, that's lit. Like, that's pretty cool. But like, I never, like I said, I'm very science-based and that was always my, biggest conundrum with that stuff and so with with other cultures I feel like it's a little easier even for me to understand because I feel like they don't take it so literal they take these people as aspects of something in order to understand or better like comprehend something whether that's creation or if that's like the weather or whatever like right. they took these people to like better understand and like mm -hmm. and I, I to me that makes sense like yeah I can see that and so I don't know that does what does doesn't change it hasn't anything. changed anything okay, <laughs> that makes, that's cool I do these videos heartfelt yeah because it's so important to me that us as a culture, or us as a people all together, we are okay as the world awakens to all of these things going on. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there are people who exercise like crazy, but have horrible diets and don't think about their spirituality and consider themselves healthy. I feel like there are people who have great diets, but don't exercise and don't think about their spiritual health and feel like they're completely healthy. Um, you know, Health-wise, I've <laughs> been through the ringer quite yeah. for me for some years, yeah. and I wanted to help people. A, I want to help prevent some people from going through all of the things I've had to go through. I want people who are having children. I want their children not to have to be told over and over again through their childhood, like you to have to expect and wait and, and be on edge waiting for their mother to pass away. I want us as a nation to ride this, the, these things going on, these natural forces going on, and to come out truly healthy, happy, and prosperous. So my question to you is, ask someone coming from the younger generations, how do you view my videos? Not as my mother. I mean, as my, <laughs> she is my mother, not as my daughter, <laughs> but as just say you're just coming on and watching the videos. And I know it's, I'm, I'm asking a lot, asking you to not be partial, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do I feel about your videos? Like, so in the content in general, is it, do I do it in a manner that your generation can understand? 